Namaste. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's topic is most important because I am going to explain about menstrual cycle which is found in girls. And for that, first of all, I am going to explain about female reproductive system and then we will learn about menstrual cycle. See all of you, you know in our body there are so many systems they are working in coordination. Digestive system, respiratory system, nervous system. Like that one more important system in our body is that. That is reproductive system. As digestive system and respiratory systems are important, transport is important for our daily metabolism and for survival of us. Reproduction is also most important. If proper reproduction continues in human beings, then only our species will survive. Otherwise, it will disdain. So, one of the most important life process in human body or any other living organism is reproduction. So, here we are going to study about female reproductive system and then we are going to study about menstrual cycle. See, you know there are so many cycles in nature. For example, water cycle, then hydrogen cycle, then carbon cycle, nitrogen cycle and oxygen cycle like that. One cycle which is continuously working in female body that is called as menstrual cycle. The menstrual cycle duration is approximately 28 days. Now see, in our country and our Indian culture, we talk uh, easily about respiratory system, digestive system, but when it comes about reproductive system, we feel shy. And because of that, we are not getting proper knowledge about reproductive system. And if we don't have proper scientific knowledge, we don't understand what is correct and what is wrong. So I personally feel this a video is most important video for girls, boys, those who are teenagers as well as all mothers so that the correct and scientific knowledge of reproduction if you know then you can understand what is good and what is bad. So first let us know about the female reproductive system. See when the girls comes to puberty at the age of 10 to 17, the poverty age is there, it begins from 10 and up till 17 it continues. Someone's menstrual cycle begins very early at the age of 10 and some girls it may start at the age of 17 also. It depends, every person's body is different and the time to begin is different. And if this menstrual cycle continue till the age of monopause. And one of us start from age of 45 to around 50. So in every month the girl experience this menstrual cycle. And this cycle only breaks when there is a pregnancy and fatus is developing in uterus. See, when a girl child born, female reproductive system, this part, uh, there are two ovaries. In the ovary, there are 2 to 4 million oocytes already there and uh, when the girl comes to puberty, they start maturing. Every month, one oocytes get, uh, get mature and enter into the ovidum, alternately from both sides of uterus. So in a life of girl, only 400 oocytes gets mature and they can be fertilized. Rest of all amongst that 2 to 4 million, they get degenerated. So uh, only 400 in our life, they become mature and get ready for fertilization. To understand menstrual cycle, let us first know uh, which are the different organs in a female reproductive system. So first of all there are pair of ovaries, here one and here, then these are pair of oviduct which is also called as fillopoint tube but here in our textbook it is told that it is oviduct. 
Then you can see here it is a uterus. In uterus the baby develop and lastly it is vagina from where the menstrual blood comes or a baby born. The passage from where the baby born. So this is a ovary and in ovary only 2 to 4 million ovas are present from the time of birth of a girl child. So you can imagine if a uh, woman get pregnant at age of 40 to 50, the ovas which are there in his bodies are 40 years old and 40 years ovas, very old ovas and at that time the, uh, they may lose the ability of cell division. And because of that division is not done properly, then the child which will born may suffer from Down syndrome or any other such a type of promotional disorder. So it is advised that the proper period of fertilization and to give birth is from 25 years to 35 years for female because as the age goes on increasing uh, the ovas are also going to get older and older and these old ovas are going to lose the ability of cell division so it's my advice and it is advised by all doctors that 40 about pregnancy is little difficult so what is the proper age for reproduction or proper age for pregnancy of a woman that is 25 to 35 age because these ovas are there in the ovary from the time of birth of a child then uh, every month one ova it is uh, matured and it entered into the ovator alternately every month one ova only enter into ovocytes enter in oviduct and then it can fertilize here and uh, if it fertilize then uh, zygote is forming in oviduct uh, male gamete and female gamete fuse together and zygote is formed in this oviduct or fallopian tube then that the zygote experience mitotic cell division and then the zygote get converted into embryo and this embryo then implanted in uterus and in uterus uh, proper nutrition are given by placenta and the uh, fetus grow and when after nine months at appropriate time the baby born through the passage vagina so this way the female reproductive system work and today we are going to study the main important focus of today's topic is menstrual cycle i have all told you that menstrual cycle begins in girls from puberty that is the age of 10 to 70 and it lasts till menopause that is the age of 45 to 50 so everyone one oversize get ready for fertilization and how the process occurs in ovary as well as in uterus that we are going to study and that will know you the menstrual cycle so let's begin menstrual cycle is naturally occurring repetitive change observed in mature human female this menstrual cycle is divided into four parts first is period of menstruation second is period of regeneration of endometrium third is ovulation period and the fourth period is period of secretion of glands in endometrium here are the flower parts which you can see where i have written from 1 to 28 this is the change observed in uterus this part of female reproductive system this is change observed in uterus and this portion you can see these are the changes observed in ovary and above that you can see this is a pituitary gland and pituitary gland secretion control the menstrual cycle the menstrual cycle is totally controlled by four important hormones. First is folicide stimulating hormone and second is luteinizing hormone which are secreted by a pituitary gland. 
whereas third and fourth are estrogen and progesterone which are secreted by ovary so under the influence of luteinizing hormone and follicular stimulating hormone ovary secretes estrogen and progesterone so first of all how the menstrual cycle begin so first of all the pituitary gland secrete follicular stimulating hormone and because of that in ovary there are so many ova among one oocyte start developing and around eight ovarian follicle is developed among around oocyte what is developed that is ovarian follicles under the influence of follicular stimulating hormone which was secreted by pituitary gland now this ovarian follicle secret estrogen and this estrogen develop the endometrium in uterus or it degenerate the endometrium so this way the follicular stimulating hormone develop for the uh, ovarian follicles and ovarian follicles secret estrogen at the same time oocytes also develop and then next hormone is secreted by pituitary gland that is luteinizing hormone so when the luteinizing hormone is secreted from pituitary gland ovulation takes place what is ovulation busting of ovarian follicle and oocyte release and the remaining tissues of ovarian follicles get converted into carplus luteum and this carplus luteum secret progesterone which is the second secretion from ovary endometrial glands starts their secretion under the effect of progesterone and endometrium get ready for implantation of fetus and if the fertilization of oocytes takes place this endometrium get converted into placenta and start supplying nutrients to the fetus but in case of oocyte does not fertilize then this carplus luteum loses ability of secretion of progesterone and it get converted into carplus albicum is unable to secrete progesterone and estrogen because of that endometrium start degenerating this degenerated endometrium ovum and blood comes out through vagina for 4 to 5 days continuously and that is called as a menstruation in the menstruation period the woman continuously bleeding is there so feel weak and this is a period when she may get infected so she must take proper personal hygiene to avoid infection but if fertilization takes place then there is a break of menstrual cycle till the baby born and the woman is on breastfeeding once it stop again the menstrual cycle begin so this way it continue till the menopause and after menopause the ability of female reproductive system of developing oocyte stops and then fertilization is not possible so if you like today's my teaching of menstrual cycle and female reproductive system please like it share it and subscribe it thank you all